yards. You being a 110 meter hurdler, I mean, kind of a cherry on top right there. Um, with with the first touchdown, I think just as a as an athlete, it gives you confidence and the ability to kind of get into a rhythm and a flow and make plays. So it felt kind of good. My first touchdown, you know, in an official game in Austin and in college. So it felt pretty good. And you know, I didn't really know that stat, but that's that's pretty cool too. Here. Kevin, uh, how do, does the mentality you take in the big track race maybe translate and carry over into the mentality you take in the big football game? Um, it's a lot different, but I think I try to just stay focused. And I know that my preparation, you know, leading up to that point, um, you know, I've done a lot to prepare for it. So I don't really have to do too much. Just kind of go out there and have fun and play or run. Um, so it's nothing nothing too similar. You know, football is a lot different from track. Um, and football, I just, you know, it's more of a, a attack and, and hit and run mentality. And hurdles is more finesse. Tyson. Then I asked Marcus if uh, you guys were developing a little bit more of a chemistry with each other. Uh, he kind of said, yeah, he was open. Uh, <laughs> uh, how were you getting open on those uh, those two touchdowns? Um, the uh, the first one I think was Depot. Uh, we schemed it out to where I would have to cut across the uh, safety's face, and actually the safety just jumped on the bubble motion, and so I just ran straight, and that was easy. So that was an easy pass for Marcus and easy catch for me. You know, it was wide open. And then the second one, it was a kind of the same concept, um, and then I just happened to be wide open again. How uh, open do you have to be for Marcus to get you the ball? Um, you know, hopefully every time I'm wide open, so it makes it easier on him. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of times when, when Marcus trusts me to, to go make a play. Um, and, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of what we're doing, we're kind of building chemistry. You know, we've only been working, uh, you know, for a few, during spring, a few months in the fall, a um, few months in the spring over summer and stuff like that. So we're getting better. So in the back, hey, Devin, uh, in the early moments of the third quarter and you guys are on the sideline, you may or may not be watching the defense, but how much of a sense were you getting from your guys that they were, getting a, a little boost from the defense doing what they were doing, shifting the momentum with a sack and a tip pass and those kinds of things to, to force their offense off the field. Yeah, actually, um, you know, the guys on the sideline were really, you know, hyped up and excited during, during defensive play because we all watched the game. And, you know, once, once that happens, you know, it's kind of our turn to go out there and make a play. And, you know, when we get that momentum, it makes everything easier. You get a little more adrenaline and, you know, it makes it more, you know, you, you play a little bit faster, you play a little bit harder for your teammates. Rico and Chris are now in the glass. Anyone else talk to them? Rick, yeah, I mean, I uh, didn't have a lot of success running the football in the first half. Coming into the into the game this week, did you th see during the game preparations that there was going to be some opportunity for you to be actively involved in the game to the level that you were? Um, well, we scheme to uh, to pass the ball a bit more than usual. Um, our run game is always pretty good. I think once once we started getting our tempo and playing Oregon football like we do, um, we kind of opened up the run game again, and that that's where we saw some big runs and some open lanes in the past game, and some time you know for Marcus to to throw the ball. Once we got them a little bit tired, they didn't blitz, so they didn't rush as many people, um, and that made it a little bit easier for us. So we just kept doing that third quarter, fourth quarter, um, and that got us going. So these first couple games, how you thought, or have you exceeded? Um, it's kind of hard to say. I'm I'm excited. You know, I feel I feel blessed and lucky to uh, go out there and, and play every day. Um, and whenever you know, as a, as an athlete, as a receiver, as a running back, any any position, we go out there. When we get, whenever we get the ball, you know, we want to score. So it's not really um, exceeding it, but I, you know, hopefully, I can continue to play, you know, well and keep getting better.